I'm Kasia Madeira in London, also in this programme. Mark Urban reporting lots more on our website, but now let's take a look at some of the day's other news stories because President Trump has repeated his threat to tax EU cars imported into the US. The comments came as the World Trade Organization warns of the danger of a trade war, saying that it could plunge the global economy into deep recession. That, however, is not the view of the president. Also making news today, a former aide to Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is reported to have signed. The Brazilian footballer Neymar has left hospital after surgery on a fractured foot. The world's most expensive player is still on crutches and he is facing an uphill battle to get fit. Well, with pictures like these, it is very unlikely to fill Brazil fans with confidence with just over 100 days to go to the start of the World Cup in Russia. And how would you feel about eating a burger that was made by a robot? Serious question, because these pictures are from a Californian fast food chain where they are using a robot to flip their burgers. If this is a success, it could mean fewer jobs in the kitchen. Dozens of locations are looking to bring in the system, which is designed to replace human fast food workers. Oh, Mariko, it's a really, really sad story, actually, that's captured people's attention on our website. It's about the inventor Trevor Bayliss, who is best known for developing the... Now, yesterday's Newsday, we ended just as the Oscars were getting underway. So let's bring you right up to date with all the winners of Hollywood's biggest night. Our arts editor, Will Gumpers, has a full roundup of the 90th Academy Awards. Ambarasan Ethirajan reporting. The U.S. aircraft carrier Carl Vinson is making a historic visit to Vietnam. The first time a ship of this size has been to the country since the end of the Vietnam War. Its presence is being widely perceived as an attempt to counter China's military influence in Asian waters. Jonathan Head is in Da Nang. The voice of Marina Litvinenko there. Of course, we have much more on our website, but now let's bring you up to date with some of the day's other news stories because President Trump has repeated his threat to tax EU cars imported into the US. Now, these comments come as the World Trade Organization warns of the danger of a trade war, saying that it could plunge the global economy into deep recession. That, however, is not the view of the president. Also making news today, North Korea's leader Kim Jong-un is reported to have told a delegation of South. The Brazilian footballer Neymar has left hospital after surgery on a fractured foot. The world's most expensive player is still on crutches and, well, he is facing an uphill battle to get fit. And if these pictures are anything to go by, well, the Brazilian fans will not be very happy because there are just over 100 days to go to the start of the World Cup in Russia. And how would you feel about eating a burger that was made by a robot? It's a serious question, as these pictures from a South Californian fast food chain suggest, because that is where they're using a robot to flip their burgers. If this is a success, it could mean fewer jobs in kitchens. Dozens of locations are looking to bring this system into use, and it is, of course, designed to replace human fast food workers. The U.S. aircraft carrier Carl Vinson is making a historic visit to Vietnam. It's the first time that a ship of this size has been to the country since the end of the Vietnam War. It is meant to demonstrate the country's growing military ties, but its presence is also being widely perceived as an attempt to counter China's military influence in Asian waters. Jonathan Head is in Da Nang. Embarrassing Ethirajan with that report. Now, if you were watching yesterday, we ended Newsday just as the Oscars were getting underway. So let's bring you up to date with all the winners of Hollywood's biggest night. Our arts editor, Will Gompertz, has a full roundup of the 90th Academy Award.